Hi, my name is Nick Krish and I'm Head of Unit for Animal and Plant Health here at EFSA. Today I want to talk to you about the International Year of Plant Health. Where would we be without plants? Apart from the fact that we wouldn't breathe oxygen, which they're so important for in producing, plants make up 80% of the food we eat. Yet they are under constant attack from pests with the FAO estimating that up to 40% of food crops are destroyed globally each year. That leaves millions of people hungry and also seriously damages our agriculture. On top of that, climate change is making things worse, threatening to reduce both the quality and quantity of crops and make water more scarce. Globalization of trade is another threat as it globalizes also the movement of pests. And like in human and animal health, also in plant health, prevention is much better than cure. It is much more effective to prevent the introduction of a pest or a disease than having to deal with a full-blown health emergency. That is why the United Nations has declared 2020 the International Year of Plant Health. It is to raise awareness of how protecting plant health can help reduce hunger and poverty, protect the environment and also boost economic development. Here in Europe, the European Union has introduced new plant health legislation which is aimed at helping to reduce the threat of introduction into our region of the world. At the European Food Safety Authority, our plant health experts are carrying out essential scientific assessments to support these new regulations, but also to help bolster the defenses that member states are putting up against the introduction of new plant diseases. This is a big year for everyone who cares about plant health, and cares about the preservation of the vital role they play in our lives. It's going to be exciting, it's going to be busy, and please follow us on our Twitter account. Thank you.